Earlier this week, my friends and I took our children to the Connecticut Children's Garbage Museum. I never knew such a place existed, but it turned out to be really fun. We saw the glass bolt snail and Trashosaurus rex and a whole host of other interesting things. It was a really fun field trip on a summer day. While we were there, the kids got to watch the recycling plant at work and get a great lesson in composting. It was so much fun. Hi, I'm Kelsey, the Naptime Chef. Well, we're back from our morning at the Garbage Museum. It was fun, I have to say, I did not expect that. And now my daughter is down for a really long afternoon nap. What I'm gonna do today is prepare some stuff for tonight's dinner. I'm gonna make baked tomatoes with herbs, breadcrumbs, and Parmesan cheese. Tomatoes are everywhere at the farmer's market at this time of year, and I love cooking with them. It's a great healthy side dish, and what I'm gonna do is prepare them during nap time, and then we're gonna roast them right before dinner. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna prepare a special dessert for my daughter and I, some cookie crumble parfaits. You know, I have some extra cookie shards from the cookies that got stuck to the sheet when we were baking the other day, and I don't wanna let any of that good stuff go to waste. Let's get started. It is great to use fresh herbs if you have them available. I used some fresh parsley from the herb pot on my deck. Then I washed it and set it to dry in a kitchen towel and set about washing the tomatoes that I got earlier in the week at the farmer's market. Use a basic glass dish for baking these. Cut the clean tomatoes in half one by one on a cutting board. Then use a small spoon to scoop out the seeds of each half. A serrated spoon, like a grapefruit spoon, will work great for this, but I didn't have one on hand, so I did it with a small teaspoon. I scooped the seeds into the sink and washed them down the drain. Nest the little tomatoes in the baking dish, then get ready to prepare them with the oil and the breadcrumb mixture. I used a flavored olive oil that I had on hand, but you could use any kind of olive oil that you have at your disposal. Plain will work well too. Chop up the parsley with a knife and then mix it together with the breadcrumbs and the Parmesan cheese in a large bowl. Use clean hands so that the ingredients a quick stir and then get the tomatoes ready so you can prepare them. First, drizzle the olive oil all over the tomatoes, then pat around them with your hands to make sure they are fully coated. Take the breadcrumb mixture and stuff it in the top of all of the tomatoes. Be generous and stuff as much as you want. You can always add more later if you need to. When all the tomatoes are prepared, cover them with plastic wrap and leave them in the fridge for the afternoon. Since I had some cookie bits on hand, I decided to also put together some cookie crumble parfaits for dessert that evening. While I was at the refrigerator, I took the ice cream out of the freezer to soften. I set it on the countertop and did took care of a few chores while I was at it. To make the parfaits, scoop a little bit of ice cream in the bottom of a glass, then layer it with a layer of the cookie bits. Then put another layer of ice cream on top and repeat this until you reach the top of the glasses. Then all you have to do is leave these in the freezer until you're ready to eat them later that night. The parfaits stayed in the freezer until dinner time. Then, right before dinner time, I roasted the tomatoes. They came out deliciously cheesy and smooth and had a wonderful summer tomato taste. They were the perfect side dish for a roast chicken. I'm Kelsey the Naptime Chef. Thanks for watching.